What's up, everybody? This is Steve Strelacci. Today we are looking at, man, this might be the biggest single update to the digital world. Quad Cortex is finally achieving what it set out to from the get-go. Um, they just announced a update development development update update on the update um, about where they're coming from and what's going to be included in the 3.0 update. This is going to be massive. So let's take a look at the notes that we got. Um, they sent this out earlier today. This is an update on the development and where we're going to be winded up. Winding up? Where we're going to wind up? By the way, if it's your first time here, my name is Steve Starlacci. I do all sorts of digital amp modeling, capturing, profiling, all that stuff with the major players. I'm also going to be starting a podcast. I've got the first few episodes getting ready to launch. So if you're interested in hearing from all different pros from different areas of the world and different areas of the modeling community, sign up for my mailing list at stevesterlachi.com and be in the loop when we start launching the podcast. We are going to be talking all things silent stage. So if you're someone that uses quad cortex, this is definitely going to be something you don't want to miss. So let's talk about this update. Obviously, it goes without saying quad cortex has been under extreme criticism and scrutiny since launch that it's missing a lot of major, fa major features and factors that were um, promised and haven't really come through on, but that seems to be changing. This 3.0 update looks to be absolutely insane. So let's go to the screen cap and talk about some of this stuff. So first off, we have the integration of Peacock, which is, I mean, that's plug-in compatibility. That's what we've been after since day one, because that's something that was definitely promised at launch. Um, here's a little bit of, a, of the how and uh, what is kind of becoming here. You can buy the plugin and then uh, be able to access it in your quad cortex. So any plugin that's denoted with an X is going to be integrated into the quad cortex if you already own it or if you buy it. I'm still curious how that's all going to work and look. Um, we don't really have any insight into what that's going to look like. Um, is it going to be blocks? Is it going to be, how is it going to work? You're going to open the whole plugin in one block or are you just going to have access to everything within the plugin? So if you own licenses, it'll unlock when you sign into your narrow DSP account on your quad cortex. Um, these will be available before the update, the new SLO and Fort Nameless. And let's take a look at the new devices. So there's some really awesome additions here. We're now going to get transpose, doubler, transparent blend, a pitch correction. So this is going to be um, something a lot of people have always requested is more vocal effects because Quad Cortex has the mic inputs. It's been pitched as a vocal processor as well, but there's really never been any, I don't think, vocal effects. I mean, you could use EQ compressors and stuff like that, but we've got a monophonic pitch correction, which is going to be great if you're a singer, especially like me, who's not very good. Uh, circular delay, Lexicon PCM70. That's a pretty famous um, delay. Plug-in gate, plug-in doubler, plug-in blend, plug-in graphic. So this is important to note. The plug-in versions, these are created with the exact same controls and parameter ranges as the plugins. So it looks like these are going to be added without the plugin compatibility. It looks like these are just going to be added. I guess these, I don't have any neural plugins. I'm not associated with neural in any way. So I'm assuming here that these plugin blocks are stuff from the plugins that they're just going to port over and we're going to have access to those with or without buying the plugins. And um, the transpose, the doubler, these are kind of uh, more advanced pitch effects, which I think is something that the quad cortex really needs. It's something that has uh, the quad cortex is something that has the power to do a lot of great things, but doesn't have the means to do them yet. And I think that the transpose feature is going to be something really cool. It's going to be like a digital capo that you can move around. Um, the doubler is going to be something that tracks what you play, makes it sound like you're doing a double. Um, those are pretty advanced algorithms, and I'm really curious how they're going to sound and how they're going to stack up if they're actually going to be any good. On that note, we're now introducing side chaining also. And it's going to allow you to trigger the effects from, of a device from a specified point in the signal chain. And you can put it in the grid in a position that creates the sound that you require. So the example that they're using here is a, an envelope filter after an amp and cab, but side chain the clean guitar input so it can improve your tracking. So basically you can tell the if it's like the transpose or the doubler, instead of having it process your entire signal chain, like if you're putting it after your amp and cab, so it's going to have to process your distorted signal, you can side chain your input directly so that it's reading your direct input, reading your guitar plugged in directly, so it's getting that pristine signal to process. 
and you'll hear it uh, in real time. So it's going to be reading the side chained input. It's going to be, if it works the way that they're saying, it's going to be really great for when you're using any tracking effect like harmonies or any of that stuff. So here we go. A side chain can be triggered on the following devices, the doubler, the plug-in doubler, plug-in blend, transparent blend, the adaptive gates, the compressors, and the envelope filter. So I guess we're not getting any harmony effects. I think that that's going to be something that would probably come in the future. If you got like a good harmonizer, this would be um, something you want to side chain to as well. That's just where my mind went right away. But here's the options for the side chain. And now plug-in devices. The following plug-in devices will be added and will only be available to users who own the license. Lame. So if you do own the plugins, you're going to get access to these blocks. So this is per perhaps some insight into what this is going to look like when you buy a plugin. You're basically going to unlock blocks. Like you're going to go to the store, buy one package, and it's going to open up into all of these blocks, all the stuff from the Pliny and from the Gojira. And now some more cool stuff. We've got quality of life updates. We've got the custom folders. This stuff is... Uh, as far as Quad Cortex goes, something it really needed. A little bit more um, file organization has been needed from, from day one from the get-go. So this is cool. We're adding custom folders. Allows you to better organize your neural captures and your impulse responses. Neural captures are stored in the neural captures library. Impulse responses are going to be in the impulse response library. Libraries can store 2048 each. Um, it is now possible to create a neural captures folders and IR folders. Subfolders can be created within folders that can be nested up to four levels deep. So what that basically says is you can have an impulse response folder of a thousand and you can make a subfolder into the like the the go to. So that's going to make file organization way easier. Finding the IRs exactly the ones that you want or the captures. Awesome. You can also delete things from the folder without deleting them from your quad cortex. So you can keep them in your library but delete them from your folder. So basically what this is going to allow you to do is have your folder of go to's your folder of your folder of usable IRs or captures, and you're going to be able to keep them easy access unified add and change device screens. This is going to be nice too. Uh, previously the change device screen was presented in a different way. Now this is showing you that everything is going to be here. So it's more uniform. So whenever you hit change device, it's not going to look different than it does when you select the device from scratch. This is another big one, another huge one, multiple MIDI messages. I think prior to this, it was only able to send one, but now we've got multiple uh, MIDI sends. Each foot switch can have 12 MIDI messages assigned. This is a considerable improvement over the previous implementation where only one MIDI message could be assigned per foot switch, simplifying complex setups and allowing you to seamlessly control multiple aspects of your live performance. So now... Um, we're almost getting into, I guess, like Helix territory where the quad cortex is becoming the center of full rigs. So if you're somebody that uses this with MIDI or controls amps or has a complex pedal board with different MIDI, now we're talking. This is some stuff that's going to be really great for complex rigs. If you're not somebody that uses it all in one, you definitely want to check out these new MIDI, uh, these new MIDI options. This, I mean, this is elevating the quad cortex to the pro level that it needs to be at. Bulk action. So now you can press and hold, I guess. I'm going to assume it's press and hold. Does it say? You can cut, copy, paste, upload. So you can highlight multiple things and batch. So that'll be useful and uh, speed up your workflow. And we look forward to sharing Core OS 3.0 with you soon. So I had said it in a previous video where I think that 2024 is going to be the year for Quad Cortex. I think that. After this update, not that it's going to be smoother sailing, but it's going to be a lot better. There's going to be way less critics, including myself. Um, I've been extremely hard on the quad cortex, and I'm really looking forward to them implementing this stuff and getting it really going in the positive direction. Now, when it says it'll be with you soon, does that mean three months from now or does that mean two weeks from now? We will never know, but it seems like it's pretty far along if they have the they have the confidence enough to be announcing what's going to be in it before it happens. I would think that we've got to be close and hopefully we are. And hopefully it's within the next couple of weeks on the late side. Imagine if it's a week away, that'd be awesome. So let me know in the comments, what you think of this update. Do you think this is going to be the game changer that neural needed? And uh, is the quad cortex going to be the go-to by the end of the year? I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes and I'm really excited about this update. So if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.